Morgan. And it poked away. And a chance here for Central, and it's good! Leah Blaney and Central Connecticut take a 1-0 lead. What a great finish by Leah. She was wide right open over there. Long Island is coming off on the back, trying to push forward, and the ball is still in the midfield. And Leah's right open, receiving the ball in with very good finish. She's placing the ball, looking at the goal, and put the center ahead. Her 11th goal of the year, the NEC Player of the Year, first team all NEC performer, Leah Blaney, scores her biggest goal of the season. Number 11. It's going to roll out of bounds, and that is going to do it. Central Connecticut State defends their home turf, and the number one seed wins here in the semifinals, one to nothing. The game score by which they defeated LIU in the final last year, a game effort by the Blackbirds. They had a chance here early in the second half when uh, Morgan was just offside, scored a goal, it was disallowed, and then uh, Leah Blaney had a great individual effort to score her 11th goal of the year, and it stood up, the only goal of this game. Coach Darcy, whose Blue Devils defeated LIU one to nothing, and Coach, it was scoreless for about the first 70 minutes, and then all of a sudden Blaney comes through with that goal. Take us back through that play and what transpired to allow that goal to happen. Well, it's just duplicate of a lot of goals that we've scored this year. Um, you know, a good run off the ball from Leah and Cleo did an excellent job finding her with a simple little through ball on the ground. So it was, um, and then Leah from that range, we always going to, yeah, like her chances of finishing from there. Uh, this, this was a tough game defensively. LIU played very tough defense against you guys who, you know, are one of the top scoring teams in the league. Um, how, how tough was it against them defensively? Well, I think if you look at other years' records, you know, in their games, they've got a lot of 1-0 games, 1-0 wins, 1-0 losses, so there's not a whole lot of goals, you know, scored in when they play. Uh, the tight defensively, they close the game down, and, uh, and again, I think the wind played a, a bit of a part in it, too. It was, um, even with the wind in the second half, we found it to be pretty disruptive. But um, give credit to LIU. They've, you know, they've, um, they've had their struggles with injuries this year, but they've, you know, they came out and fought really hard today and gave us a great game. Now, you guys are back in the championship game. You've never lost in championship games. Not that that'll help you on, on Sunday, but uh, but what, what kind of advantages will you have as the number one seed in home field and uh, in the championship game on Sunday? Well, I think more than anything, it's momentum. Uh, we're on a great run right now, uh, especially at home. We've, we've, we've performed very well in the games at home. So um, and that's it. We've been there. We've played in the championship game. So I think the, the girls will still be nervous beforehand, like most people should be before a final. Um, but they've been there, they, they have the experience under the belt, and that should benefit us to some extent on Sunday. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to ask you about Monica Quinnipiac, because you'll tell me it doesn't matter who it is, but um, just, just looking ahead to that game that's coming up next, what would be a key, you've seen both teams this year, what would be a key to decide that game either way? Well, I think you look at the two great finishers, you've got Fortuna Village for, um, for Quinnipiac, and you've got uh, Will Spang on top for, uh, for Mama, who are two great goal scorers, so, I mean, it's... Uh, you know, those two, every one of those is going to, you know, make it happen today will be a big part of it. But um, I'm looking forward to sitting back and watching it. Thanks, Coach. So we will see you back here on Sunday. Congratulations. That's a dad at home. All the best. <laughs> Thanks, Coach. Bye. Best luck to you. All right, Dave. Mm. Plays it to Malecki of Mammoth and leaves it for Lopez. Oh, taken away. That's a nice play by... Hannah Wallach. Coach Dave Clark said in some ways, Wallach is their player of the year. And Wilkes gets it. May Wilkes scores for Monmouth. She gets it past Cook. And the Hawks take a 1-0 lead. A breakdown on defense for the Bobcats. And Wilkes was on the right side. They didn't. She saw the ball coming. She made a diagonal run to the middle. in a great finish. Putting the ball away from the goalie. And then... In the game right now, Monmouth was playing much better. And keeping the ball, keeping possession of the ball, and we could see that the, the goal was coming. 12th goal of the year for Mary Wilkes, who's been so active in the first half. Seven goals in her last four games. I think it's a very important at this point of... Uh, of the game that for Quinnipiac gets a little bit more possession of the ball in the midfield. We don't see the midfield controlling the ball, and right now, it, it, this ball belongs to the midfield of Monmouth. And that'll do it. 
that is the ball game. The Monmouth University Hawks are going to the that NEC the Championship the game. The they defeat score. Quinnipiac by a final score of one to nothing. Good defense in the second half. A first half goal by Mary Wilkes, her 12th of the year. And Monmouth will place a Central Connecticut 1 o'clock no Eastern time on Sunday. Thanks, Dave. I'm with Coach Turner. The Monmouth Hawks advanced to the championship game one nothing with a win today over Quinnipiac. And, Coach, yesterday you were telling us about Mary Wilkes, how exciting player she is to watch. And sure enough, she had the goal today, and she set up a lot of other opportunities for some of the, her teammates. Yes, she did. You know, she's really um, – I'm very happy that, you know, she was selected first team all-conference, and she's continued to improve – on a daily basis and you obviously could see how athletic she is but she's becoming more and more of a soccer player and she's just very dangerous and showed a lot of composure to finish that ball. They had the one nothing at the half and when we spoke at halftime you said there were still 45 minutes to go so how did your team manage to hold them off for the last 45 minutes and record your 13th shot out of the season? Uh, I'm not really sure actually. Uh, would have been nice to you know we talked about um, at halftime trying to get a second one just to you know to get the game really under control and I thought in the first 15 minutes of the second half, we didn't really control much of the game, and, and they were pressing and pressing. But, you know, defensively, we've been very solid, and, you know, um, we're looking forward to uh, Sunday's game against Central. Now, you've been in the championship game before. Two years ago, you won it. What does it mean to your program now, to, especially this group, to, to get back to the championship game this year? Well, our, our seniors um, were part of a uh, final loss as freshmen. They won as sophomores. They lost again last year to Central. So, you know, I think we have a lot of veterans, and um, hopefully – you know, we'll be able to get some um, quality play on Sunday, and it should be a good game. Now let's talk about the Blue Devils real quick before I let you guys. So you had a, a pregame chat with Coach Darcy. Uh, wh wh what's going to be the key for you guys to, to come away from Sunday with the championship when you look ahead to Central? Um, well, I think one of the things we have to really try to do is uh, neutralize Leah Blaney, who's player of the year, very well-deserved. She's a fantastic player. Um, I think we have to try to minimize um, – her touches on the ball. You know, when we played them a couple weeks ago, it was a really good game. We had some great chances. We just we just didn't finish, and at the end of the day, you know, they did, and, and we didn't. But, you know, I think it's a great matchup, and I think it finishes out one and two just, just as if as if it was the regular season all over again. Well, we're certainly excited for it, Coach. Thanks again, and, and go get warm. Congratulations Thanks on the win. Thanks. All right, Dave, back to you.